Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I wanted to do a quick channel update and uh, Frank, by the way, thank you Frank, has mentioned that, you know, before I've kind of put little channel updates after videos or before other videos, but that means that if you didn't watch that video, you didn't get the update. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do this as its own channel update video and I'll probably have one of these once a month or so. I'm trying not to do a ton of them, but there are a couple things I want you guys to know about for the channel and so this is probably the best way to do it. <laughs> So uh, without further ado, I'm hoping to either have um, titles in the description below so you can just click on what you're interested in learning about, or maybe even having something on the sidebar here. John Gets Games does that. I don't know if my video editing can do that or not. I'll find out. <laughs> but uh, regardless, you can always just jump around to what you want, or you can just watch it through. It shouldn't be terribly long. Let's get started. The first thing I wanted to mention is the Klingon subtitles. So I realized I've been mentioning this and, you know, some people might actually think I'm joking. Uh, they, you know, Rado's done this and Slicker Dips or Tom has also done this. And I know it sounds funny. You're going Klingon subtitles. I mean, are you writing it in Klingon? How am I going to read it? <laughs> well, here's the thing. So YouTube got rid of annotations, right? So I can't annotate a video for any rule mistakes. And I, I want to be able to do that. So what Rado started, and I'm seeing it now like with Tom and I don't know who else is doing it, but you can actually use a subtitle and those subtitles can come up as you're making those rule errors and anybody can see it even on your phone, which is awesome. But they're all in these different languages. And so we don't wanna pick a language that somebody actually uh, speaks and they'll think that we're writing it in that language and we're not, we're just writing it in English. It just needs to be in something that you wouldn't normally see and so that's why we use the Klingon language. So if you just turn your subtitles on, and I'm gonna put in the description below um, Rado's awesome description video about how to turn on your Klingon uh, subtitles and only the Klingon subtitles and you can even adjust them so they're dark enough so you can read them. Uh, he's got all that information so it's silly for me to do it a second time. Check out that video, set it up so that all of the videos that you watch of mine has the Klingon subtitles and then that way if anything that I do that's wrong that either you guys mention or Steve who's reviewing all of my videos now for rule errors, thank you Steve, uh, or even if I notice it, I'll throw that on there and then when you watch it those Klingon subtitles will pop up on their own and you'll see it on your mobile device, on your actual computer, it's, it's great and then that way you don't have to look in all of the comments below, you can just find it there. I've been doing this actually for the last two or three months, really, but I haven't really told anyone. <laughs> so this is me telling you, turn on those Klingon subtitles, and I'll try and remember to say that at the beginning of these videos going forward. No promises. But yeah, so make sure to turn those, turn those on so you can see what I'm doing wrong. The next thing I wanted to mention is that I actually have now a one-stop co-op shop guild on um, BGG, and this guild is awesome. I've got a couple different things on there. The first one, and one of the most important, is I have my upcoming playthroughs. So I have a, a geek list that's going to only be about 15 to 20 games long, and I'm going to put my upcoming games that I'm planning on doing as playthroughs. What I'm hoping you guys can do is go in there and don't put any comments because I'm going to delete the entries once I do the playthrough, so it's, it's going to stay as a fluid um, list. But if you really want to see a playthrough of something, hit the like button. The more likes... Uh, uh, one of those uh, games gets, I'm going to move it up then and do it earlier or sooner because I want to show you guys what you want to see and this is an easy way for me to, to show you. But I also kind of have a set of what I'm thinking of doing and this allows me to have that set and then you can tell me of that set which ones you want to see first. So in the guild, which by the way, I'll put, I'll put a, uh, a note in the description of how to get to the guild. You can subscribe to the guild or become a member of the guild. There is an upcoming playthrough geek list that's connected to it. You can just go there, go to that thread, open it up, and then like any of the ones that you want to see. The more likes, the more likely it's going to be seen. Now, I have a smattering of new games here that I'm going to be doing. This one is thanks to Steve Kinsley. He got me this one. I just... Thank you so much. I'm so pumped. So I'm definitely doing a playthrough of this one. I'm going to play it with him first on Skype, and then uh, and then I'll do a playthrough. These two over here, Shahrazad and um, the, the Raven, uh, both of these I actually got from the publishers, which is really awesome. My first two games from the publishers. So I'm going to be doing those soon as playthroughs, very soon. Over here, we got Fires of Eidolon. This is a Kickstarter that I just got. I think this is going to actually be my next playthrough. I got Codenames Duet because I heard that was amazing at, at Gen Con and they had it at my local game store so I picked it up and then yeah 
<laughs> this is a heavy Euro. I'm excited for this. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious to see how many people actually want to see a solo playthrough of Lisboa. Um, just because I don't know fully uh, you know, what my subscribers like to see. I, I, I'm getting an idea, but I'm curious to see if this would have some interest to have a solo playthrough of this. So I uh, just got my Kickstarter copy. Oh my gosh, the components off the charts. And I'm really excited to delve into that. <laughs> but yeah, just showing you some new games that are coming up. They, not actually, most of these aren't even on my upcoming top 10 or 15 that I'm going to be doing because I got to learn them first. Uh, but just letting you know that when you see these come up, if you're interested in seeing a playthrough of these, make sure to hit those like or, uh, that, yeah, that like button so that I know and I can do them earlier as opposed to later. The other thing the guild has is I have too many games. Okay, and there are many ways I can try and sell them, but I'd like to actually sell them to you guys first at usually a severe discount. I mean, I'm selling Glooms of Killforth for 50 bucks, and I think that's a pretty good uh, price because if you're trying to find that anywhere else, it's going to be a lot more than that. And I've got the, the full Kickstarter version. I think that's really that's all that's out right now. Um, and I'm, I'm doing Pathfinder with all seven adventure decks for like $35. I'm just trying to make some money back so I can get some new games. Um, and this way I know the people that are getting it are interested in the games themselves. And they're not just going to buy it and then resell it. So check it out. I've already sold a few on there. And I'd like to sell some more um, just to get them out of my house, but also to let you guys enjoy them. So that's also on the on the guild. And I'm going to keep that list updated all the time. So if you just subscribe to the, uh, the thread, every time I make an update, you'll get notified. You can go and see if there's any new games on there that you want to see. The other two things that are in this guild that I want you to know about are that I'm going to have polls. So a lot of times when I ask questions about, hey, what people should I use for a playthrough? Or, hey, um, what do you think about this giveaway? It's going to be all through that guild. And so you can let me know, answer a poll to let me know, okay, this is what I'm interested in seeing. This is what I want to see as a giveaway and stuff like that. So make sure to check out that, that guild. Please become a member. I would really appreciate it. It's so much fun to interact with you guys. So it's almost October. I know I'm saying this, it's August 31st when I'm recording this, but you know, it's going to be October very quickly. And I just want you all to know that in October, I'm required for my job, for my real life job. I have to take two consecutive weeks off for work. So I'm going to be going to Utah and I'm actually going to be meeting one of, the, one of uh, my subscribers. I'm really excited to meet him uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play some games, all of that. It's going to be great. But I'm going to be gone for two and a half weeks because then I'm also going to a conference right after. So that means you're going to see no videos for almost all of October. But that doesn't mean I'm going away. I'm going to come right back in November uh, and I'll still try and respond to comments as I can. But just know I might be a little more delayed than normal because I'm going to be out hiking, camping, biking, whatever I can be doing out at Zion National Park. <laughs> and if you live around there, let me know. And if you're close and we can figure out something, I might be able to go and meet you and play a game or something. I, I don't know. I'm going to be there with my family with two kids and a wife, so we're going to be busy. But it would be really fun even to just meet you at a coffee shop or something like that. Or if you guys know of any really good hikes to do at Zion National Park, because that's where we're going to be spending the majority of our time. But yeah, so October, you're not going to see much of me. But I'll be back in November doing more playthroughs and yada yada. So just letting you guys know. So this is for Charles Carper. So Charles, I, Charles and I, you know, we don't have any uh, specific friendship before we started doing so. I asked him to paint some of my miniatures. But now that I've done this a few times, he and I are kind of working together, which is awesome. I love it. He is a phenomenal guy, you guys. I would suggest reaching out to him if you're thinking even remotely about getting someone to paint your minis. He said that if you let him know that, that you heard about him through me, he'll give you a 10% off any order that's 150 bucks or more. So you're looking at saving a minimum of what, $15? If you just let him know, hey, One Stop Co-op Shop sent me here and I'm looking to get these minis painted. He does a great job. He can do different levels of detail. So depending on how much you want to pay, you can do uh, not as much detail, it'll be cheaper. You want more detail, it'll be, uh, it'll be more expensive. Check him out, okay? Because I really like how my minis look. And one of the things I want to tell you is he's now going to paint my Gloomhaven minis. <gasps> so I'm going to send him my Gloomhaven minis today. When I get them back, I'm going to do my Gloomhaven playthrough. 
and I'm pumped for that. So anyways, check that out. He also has Space Hulk, the board game with those huge awesome miniatures. He's painted the whole set and he's selling that on eBay. And I think he put it on the Board Game Geek, or um, no, Board Game Facebook account for um, buy, sell, trade list. I'll put links in the description below. If you're interested in seeing them, check them out. Prices are negotiable for that, so just contact them if you're interested and you can figure out something. They look amazing, <laughs> literally amazing. So check them out. I really, I really appreciate it if you guys would do that. And you know, you can get yourself some uh, easy, uh, some uh, price off for some really nice minis. A game that I don't have here yet, but I'm actually slated to get on Saturday is Seventh Continent. And this is thanks to Wesley Jones. He actually backed the game. I didn't back this game, okay? Uh, but he backed it and decided that he didn't really want it anymore. He wasn't gonna play it. So he moved his pledge over to me, which, uh, it's insane. You guys are amazing. You see what I mean? Amazing people. <laughs> but, so I'm getting my copy on Saturday. And I wanna do a playthrough, first of all, because I just wanna do a playthrough of the game. But I mean, Wesley got this for me. I would definitely need to do a playthrough. But the question is, how should I do the playthrough? Because there are spoilers in the game, and I just, I haven't figured out how I should do this. Um, Steve actually recommended that I could just do the print and play, and that way I wouldn't spoil the story, but then you're not seeing the actual game itself. And I think there's like seven curses, seven in total, and if I just did one, it wouldn't spoil it for the other six, I don't know. So can you just, and I have this as a poll at my guild, so either put in the comments below here or go to the guild and respond to the poll. Let me know how you think I should do this playthrough. Should I do it as, uh, using real components, doing the real game, and it's spoilers. Should I do the PNP, the print and play, where there are no spoilers, um, but at least at least it still shows you how to play the game. Curious what you guys think? Let me know and I'll make a determination. That one's gonna go high up on the list because I am so excited for that one and I don't think I'm the only one. So <laughs> check it out and, and let me know what you think. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thank you. One of my other favorite YouTube channels, Two Can Play That Game. Michael is fantastic, you guys. He does some of the best how to play videos that I've seen. Not to mention, he actually does really good reviews. I, I know everybody kind of has their people who they listen to for reviews, uh, but if you check him out on his reviews, he really looks at it analytically and provides you with very good information about the game and why he thinks what he thinks, much better than I do. He, he can articulate it a lot better. <laughs> I just get all excited. Okay. Um, but check him out, first of all, for, for any sort of uh, how to play video, if you just wanna learn how to play, or check him out for the reviews. He also does playthroughs too, just like I do, and he does way different games than I do. So if you're looking for competitive, or light, or heavy, just, just different than what I'm doing, check him out. And, and even the same as, as I'm doing. I think he did Massive Darkness recently, and I'm gonna be doing Massive Darkness soon, but you can check his out now, and I think Adam also, Adam from Rolling Solo has, has one as well. But you know, ch check him out, those are cool. Now, Two Can Play That Game, he has uh, a giveaway right now. And the giveaway is for Pandemic Season 2 or, oh man, I can't remember the name of the second game. Hold on. Charterstone! That's what it is. Charterstone. <laughs> okay, Charterstone or Pandemic Season 2. Both of them are legacy games. One is a competitive legacy, Charterstone, or you can play solo. Um, and then Pandemic Season 2 is the cooperative, of course. Uh, so he's giving away one copy of either one of those. So check out his giveaway. It's through Gleam. I'll put a link. Go there. You can sign up. Uh, I think you can even just sign up for an automatic and get an entry. And then you can do more things to get more entries. But please, check in. It out. I mean, come on, getting a copy, and it's international. He'll give it anywhere. If he can't get a copy in your country, he'll just give you PayPal money to be able to buy it when it comes out. But yeah, check it out. Two can play that game. Awesome guy. I really recommend him. Almost done, you guys. Two more things. Gloomhaven. So I mentioned that I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Gloomhaven, and I know I've talked about this for a long time, and I keep not doing it. <laughs> I'm going to do it, okay? But I'm getting the minis painted. I'm thinking of these three. I wanna know what you guys think, and I'm thinking of doing it in a specific way, and I also wanna know what you think. So the three I'm gonna use are the Brute, the Tinker, and the Spellcaster, okay? Because those are the three that we used when we've done our 27 plus playthrough so far. Uh, that way I know the characters the most. Um, I don't know the Tinker and the Spellcaster as much since I've been the Brute, but I'll learn them, play them, it'll be fun. I'm thinking of having all three of them to be level nine, heroes going into a random dungeon and so then it'll be random randomly generate but then you'll see 
Very difficult enemies, but awesome, awesome heroes. So I wanted to see what you guys think of that. Do you like that? Or do you want to see the campaign? Or what, what do you want to see about Gloomhaven? Because I'm hoping that I can get that video out and then that's the second printing will come out. So you can hopefully watch it, learn the game, and see how it works. And then when you get your copy, go ahead and jump right in. So let me know what you think. Helps me out and helps you out as well. Okay, last thing, Kickstarter. So I back a lot of games on Kickstarter. That's really how I get most of my games. And so I want to know if you guys are interested, interested in seeing what games I've kickstarted and which ones I'm looking at kickstarting. I think I can find a way to provide you guys with a, a link to my Kickstarter page or my backers page. And you guys can see what I've backed and what I am backing. And then that way, if you're interested in them, you can ask me questions, stuff like that. Ask me why I'm doing it uh, and I can let you know. So. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to get something up so you guys can see. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this uh, this channel update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being part of this community. I appreciate it. I have so much fun doing this. It's so great to meet all of you. I wish I could play a game with all of you. I mean, if there was a way... Uh, I'm going to figure out a way at some point, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, should I do a live play? Would that be cool? I don't know. I don't know. Live play would be insane. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.